Right, 24 for the fourth 24. HIV injection beat you up for it when breaking in cracks. Um, there's only been two loud bikes to erections. Um, well shaving dog barks, unsafe trap, no one left, shag you all, and I won't say what I said. Loud bike time taking a crap down in straight. Yeah. Right, so we've had rings and Somerset Ways partnership prove here. Uh, Grey sexual car, bono and loud bikes. Um, and uh, I've been coughed at and sneezed at over 35 times. So I'm not very happy. 50 plus cell calls in my direction as well, I forgot to mention that. Right, I'm not very bloody happy. Um, firstly, I've uh, had about 100 phone calls in my direction. I've had over 30 people spit talking in my direction. And I've had over 40 people sneeze or cough it directly in my face. And I'm not very bloody happy about it. Right, on top of that, I've had my day ru ruined by the way. Lyrico van, AA clean van, Abbey van. Haha, <laughs> sort of van, in a, a sc scum way, uh, sexual suggestion, clean uh, van, gad, um, Lyrico, um, uh, some other sexual setups, I can't remember what it is. He's going, going, knife said. <coughs> get, on, get on the bus, there's flu. But initially before that, I went to go to the Mind Cafe. Right, firstly, right in the middle of the street, where there's people about, an invisible sheet goes in front of me to stop me going anywhere. So I thought, what the fuck's going on here? We've had this before, but it's only happened a couple of times before, and it's only really happened this year, I think. I don't think it's happened before this year. I've had the feeling where you get a paranormal tapping underneath your feet, and then it feels like the floor's opening, and you feel like you're going to go down in a tunnel, but there's not... That's been going on since 2019, but this sheet coming in front of me and an invisible wall stopping me go anywhere has only occurred this year. So what happened is, is like I said the other day, is like a magnetic force. When you try and walk back, it's stopping you go anywhere. It's like a pull that's pulling you back. So say you're on a in a bungee on a bungee ride and like that circle ball thing, and you've got that pressure where when it goes in the air you can't go any higher, it's pushing you back down. Or if you put two magnets together, they don't go together, they push away from each other. It's that sort of feeling but without physically touching your body. And I couldn't go anywhere so I was stuck outside, uh, couldn't get towards mind because of it. In the end some rough people came so I had to turn around after about a minute and a half, uh, just standing there like a wet lemon feeling stupid because I couldn't go anywhere because this inv invisible force. But when I actually got outside the Mind Cafe, there was a police car parked out there, temporary parking. And uh, as I was walking towards Mind, uh, police made three, uh, three siren sounds timed as I passed. And I thought, what's going on there? So I thought, I'll have to leave Mind today because obviously something doesn't want me to go in there. So that's what I did. I got on the bus, got on the flu. I got on the bus, notice there's flu, so I've had to get off at the first location possible to avoid catching these diseases. And I've just got off this minute in time, or just before I did this video. Right, about 10 minutes ago, I've not managed to write this down yet or anything, and I've forgot the interpretation of the information of the exact wording of what this person said. But what's happened is, is I passed a single mother, aged about 25, 30 down to earth looking on this occasion and she was pushing a push chair and she had a girl um, aged about five. Well this girl said not last night but she thinks it's the night before Jesus showed me that person in a dream and said that my name is Justin which is true but uh, basically what happened then is she got scared when she walked past me and said this is a, that Justin is a very dangerous person take into account she doesn't know me she's only going by what Jesus Christ told her in a rapture dream vision or an experience she had paranormally and then she said he's been very bad and uh, he's a nasty person a very very nasty person like I said I can't remember what the wording is because I've done redone this video several times now because I keep messing up and because there was people coming so after that she said that uh, I was doing things that is not true which Jesus Christ has told her in this dream or whatever so after that I've got more people coming past this is why I'm struggling to do it all right, yeah. all right. <laughs>
Anyway, what happened is then is the little girl said that, you know, Justin, which is my name, is going to be punished in the fire of hell and he's going to burn in the fire of hell forever and ever and ever. So, what is going on? So, why is God causing this and why is Jesus Christ turned against me and why are accusations and lies about me being told to Jesus Christ's children or little girls are experiencing these dreams because this is not normal. Obviously if something's true, yeah, but why is God lying, claiming that I've done specific crimes, sexual acts or things like that that's not true and giving this information to a little child where it's scaring the child from walking past me to tell me that I'm going to go to the fire of hell and showing pictures or visions of what I look like to this girl in dreams to uh, tell to make that suggestion because obviously I'm not very happy about this but you know it's happened and that's what was said when, it's, when she was walking past me obviously it's not the girl's fault but something's being said paranormally to the bloody oh, a steep drop god um, Anyway, I'll end the recording because I'm right on an edge. I didn't know there was an edge here. I've never been here before. It's a new route because I had to get off the bus because I flew. Birds tweeting, you're a dangerous paedophile, Jess. You're being knifed. About ten minutes ago, um, there was a strange voice coming from the sky. It sounded as if it was aggressive, tempered and sharp. And very um, toned up. But it was like a very bassy. Um, how do I describe it? Be like, you turned against me. I'm gonna fucking send you fire hell. It was something like that, but it was more sharper, sharper, very sharp, very uh, nasty, but not sharp as in clear, but in low bass. You could hear it from the sky. It was absolutely nasty as anything. I couldn't make out what was being said, but it was, it was made the suggestions: as, you're going to the fire of hell, or something like that, and you turned against me, or. I can't, it didn't say that obviously, but it was to an interpretation of that maybe. But um, I have to keep walking, hang on. Um, because um, these, this whole crowd of people heard the, um, heard the, um, the voice in the sky. These are all old ladies and old men, and they were wondering what the hell was going on. And said, so, Armageddon or something like that in conversation. And also there's a bloke on his own that was uh, looked rather moody, quite serious, but not a rough type. It was rough, but not the bearded type, maybe. And uh, just to confirm my story is true, he was uh, on the phone talking about this incident that just occurred with the voice coming from the sky. So obviously when calls are recorded from networks across the, the country, like Vodafone 3 or um, O2 or whatever network it is it's bound to have gone through the signal and it's bound to have been retrieved and possibly recorded to confirm my evidence or at least it's been said just want to mention that that's true anyway the reason I said I wanted to walk up here to I uh, needs to walk fast because I was going to try and get hold of those people because I wanted to see if I could ask them if I could quickly do a quick documentary obviously not filming them but to um, audio record their experience to confirm that I was telling the truth. But it looks like they've either gone in a different direction or I've lost them. So I can't do that. Although that voice that occurred was very loud, it wasn't heard just over a mile ago. So I've walked about, what, um, just over half a mile, maybe a bit more. And obviously the other people in the other direction, they have likely to have walked to roughly about the same to get to where I am. They didn't hear it at all because their conversation was just normal. So there's been five loud bikes tying to an erection. A fly's gone in my eye and basically uh, I'm going back to the other direction I've gone, gone to because they've opened the sky up. Blue skies and sexy weather. Kids cursed to say weirdo well just. And it's been blue skies and sunshine for one hour exactly. When I say that, that's without any cloud cover whatsoever. Black sexual car twisted my way blue and dribbling wet bow whistles. The battery went flat while the cars were stopping me to get a picture of something while there was a sudden cloud cover. Um, only lasted, what, 15 seconds, if that. Uh, so I wouldn't have got it anyway, but 
Yeah, so what's happened is, is this is every single picture I've taken this year, every single picture I've taken the year before, and every single picture I've taken the year before that. We're talking hundreds of pictures. They always cause an obstacle set up, cause people to come out of their house, cause children to occur next to an old fashioned street light it's on a cloudy day you try and take a picture, or they just do the simple thing that they usually do by causing the sun to come out. And they've done this on hundreds and hundreds of pictures that I've tried taking in the last three years which are normal photographs. Although I've managed to get pictures, they have done it at every single picture, except Portland Lighthouse, Sturministum Newton Museum, and a woodland. That's it, that's, that's it. Otherwise there's been people, there's been construction force to stop me getting pictures. Right, so obviously I've been to Montague a few times, but not really that many times, and I've never been up this road before. Well, I've just discovered that there's a Southern Electric van that's taken down a 1950s or 1960s old-fashioned streetlight, replacing it with an LED. And obviously I'm not photographing them, because these, these are rough people with beards, and I don't want to cause trouble. And it didn't sound very good with the content of the information they were saying when I was nearby. So, um, but that's what they're doing. It's one of those electric company, um, oh, what's it? The GEC, the Starcone type, but it kind of is it is a star. It's, a, it's got that old nice look about it. It's it's very similar to the Starcone GEC 1950s um, streetlight on a telegraph pole. Um, but I'm not sure what type it is by name. Dog or animal goes says poison and goes. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Right, I failed to record the um, drain covers being smashed over down in the street. I don't know much about the um, manor house at Montacute in Somerset, but if we go by these three little girls who are aged about four or five, maybe younger than that, who are talking to each other, that they were saying that there's real ghosts in that um, place when they're in a the conversation to each other. I mean, they're only small children, like three to five, but... Um, Assuming that's the case, uh, that manor house is haunted then. Well, it's basically been, been as good as full sunshine for the last two hours, so... Um, about five minutes ago, I was actually on um, private land. I didn't realise that because there's no signs. So I've just had to leave there because uh, I could get told off. Um, right, anyway, like I said, it's the sort of blue skies and sunshine wrapped around me in a cursed way so um but i have seen someone that looks like this laura that works in tesco's literally quite literally i mean i'm not making this up quite literally identical uh, it's not her and the reason i know it's not her is because this person looks younger so this person because obviously laura and or laura whatever it, her name is, is definitely over 30 today. This woman was about 30 years of age, maybe late 20s. And she was slightly smaller build as well, so she wasn't so tall as this Lauren. But she still had the same sort of smoothness type skin, if that's the right word to use. Um, but she's definitely not single because she's got rings all over her fingers, a ring through her nose, and um, apart from that, almost identical looking however i did notice there was a little bit of a difference she didn't i wouldn't say she looks sarcastic but she looks more kind of sociable the lauren that works in tesco's had that more sort of um in with it crowd look so more sort of social look to the face but the very very faintly where this sort of lady that i walked past me was more like a sort of person that doesn't look like she's uh those clubbing or anything like that, or, you know, sort of more sort of feeble, maybe. I don't know what the right word is to use, but um, she smiled at me when she passed. Looked at me as if I was all right, you know. I thought most people moan about that. So, but um, yeah, it's worth mentioning. Straight after I um, put this camera down, Tina shoots up in a time allowed bike. Hermed or Emed, dead suggestion, I guess. Ambulance. I saw a uh, Somerset Race Partnership drain covers it on the central cars, might simply sort of 300 cars per 60% um, initially, going up to 90 later. Um, Dela, the window cleaner, uh, simply sort of weighing van, uh, central car, black and blue, white, plow, going on some way 
Mom would have smashed the house. Um, uh, bike, learner car grade, bonus a bike, guy. Bonus own bike, central car rigs, like. Uh, roughly 20 foot sale calls at me. And roughly, uh, I might be able to count that um, Six people sneezed in my face. Power your feelings out. Uh, then I allow bike to erection. And um, bike type to erection, and I can't photograph the evidence because they find females to come out of the house. Uh, block of flat, sorry. Um, train covers it over. Um, the next setup, I can't actually say what it is because of how corrupt it is. I mean, it'll cause trouble on the internet if, it, if I mention the word and I'm a miracle. And obviously, I've got to be catalytically st stunk up. Yeah, sort of trying to do the video at the time of recording. Where the creator is a twisted, buckled, fucking hell bent, trotty, fucking sex slaughtering bastard. Black and blue sex twisted into me, choked by catalytic converter stench. Photo taken of me, mistaken as Sven, threatened to be fucking smashed in. So I've got to get a knife ready to smash a person's face in, we kill out of certain murder, manslaughter, so what? Nothing I can do about it, the creator's corrupt. Knifed by a neighbour name. Uh, everything gone said, so can't say that because obviously this is going on the internet. So I can't actually give the name. Froggy breath into my mouth. Um, catalytic converter set up. Right, choked by catalytic converter set up. Black and blue, my shape, gun shaped. Uh, set up to apply, rip you to fucking pieces, slice your throat with creator god. Land you in jeopardy with a creator god to cause you to go to the fire hell. And then a chair and set up. And uh, a set up to say we're going to sexually abuse you as a child in your next life. Rip you to fucking pieces and play about with your poker sticks in the bar on the fireplace.